life. There it is. Okay. Now we're live. Okay. Now we are. Now, now we're, we're live. live. <laughs> We've been talking to you guys for like five minutes and, and thought no one we were, answered. And nobody was answering. We thought we were live. And I went over to the computer and there was a button and it says go live. Sorry. So, and you know, I got to tell you, Todd Sorry, has been. Get that. Okay, computer, do not disturb. So I got to tell you guys, Todd all day has been like, is it time? Is it time? Oh, I'm so excited. excited. I want to make this card. Are we ready? Are we ready? I've got to make her be quiet. Computer, do not disturb. Do not disturb is already enabled. Okay, there we go. Then stop talking to us and interrupting. Okay, let me refresh here. And let me open a new YouTube page so I can see all your comments. Because, oh, look at them all. Go oh, comments going no, over there. Oh, are they see us now? Yes. Okay, let me see my comments. Okay, there it is. I got the video up. All right, so I... Uh, Facebook what? business. Mm -hmm. I could not, you guys... I got this new interface for Facebook. I could not post a poll on there. And my Instagram is so dead. You guys don't even want to know. But anyway, so I posted on Facebook today. And I posted what card base Todd should start with. So I'm going to get the answers because they're over here. And I got to tell you guys, I posted what card color and Carrie Ann was like pink and green because you know your girl loves pink and green but I meant card base so I was like do I have to like edit it so for card base I got I got so many I got so many so many options here babe look we got pink pear pizzazz magenta madness madness just jade sage green and pink granny apple green and pink that was Carrie Ann or no that was Kimberly Ann yes I get so, so many ands. Anyhow, that was Kimberly Ann. Because, girl, she knows me. She knows I love Granny Apple Green and Pinks. But, hands down, we got Cheryl Lee, Krista, Kim, Kim S., and Joan, and a few other people. White. 100% was white. So, so let's find white. I got it for you right here. White. Oh, look at that. So, this is your card base. Okay, so we're going to put that to the side. Over there. This is your card insert. So, we're going to put that to the side. Over there. This is the card mat, okay, but we'll be stamping on something different. So let me see if I can see your guys' comments. All right, Jill, hello, Joanne, Denise, Lori. Oh, love my, my ears, my bunny ears. You know what? They're so cute, but they give me a headache because they dig into the back of my head. It's such a pita. Okay, I posted one other question on Facebook today with three options for stamps. And we've got, oh, you know what? We're not seeing the table yet. No. So the, we're just here right now because I've got it on a different screen for right now. So I keep putting stuff on the table. I will flip to the table for you guys. But we've got two a wild rose was one of the options. Painted poppies was the second option. And timeless tulips was the third option. I'm going to flip the screen for you guys. And I know, Todd, you're just dying to chat with everybody. Oh, absolutely. So, so you have, like, the floor right now. It's all yours. I mean, you should probably calm down Hi, a little bit. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so we're going to take... No. Nope. There we go. All right. So, this is going to be your piece of paper you're going to stamp on. Okay, but... So, for this one... Everybody, hands down, majority voted for Two of Wild Rose. And I'm going to tell you guys, this is dear to my heart. Number one, because like Joan said on one of the comments, the Wild Rose is our provincial flower. But this was the very first stamp set I used in my very first video. So if you never saw that, you should go back and watch it. Or um, in January, I'm going to do a watch back my very first video <laughs> reaction type thing. That should be a lot of fun. But it's also the name of our engraving company. Mm. Well, Wild Rose Engraving. Yes. yes almost. Yes. Almost. And that's true, babe. I totally forgot that. Are you trying to plug like Absolutely. your business? No, why not? So Todd does trophies and engraving and like way to plug. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I should keep you around. Do you need another job? I need an assistant. <laughs> so, okay. Now. This is a two-step stamping. 
and we're going to let everybody decide what colors. So I've pulled out three color combinations. Actually, let's just close and put that to the side for a sec. You should see over here. He's got everything, all the papers, like all like this. They're all in a row like this. And he's like, you know, straightening them all over there. So these are the color combinations. We got cherry cobbler, real red, garden green. So that's combination number one, okay? And then we've got Rococo Rose, Blushing Bride, and Pear Pizzazz. That's combination number two, all right? Combination number three is Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie, and Old Olive. So combination number one, combination number two, combination number three. You don't get to pick. They get to pick. So, I like orange. So Lisa says hi. Patty says hi to you. And Hello I got to tell you guys, did I don't even know if June is here yet, but June, she has been here since the beginning of my channel. And I got to tell you, this is pretty much verbatim, okay, when I when I posted this on uh, YouTube, on my community. She goes, blah, 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 I will be there. I'm not coming to see, I'm not coming for you. I'm coming to see Todd. I mean, and then all these like little heart emojis and stuff. She is so funny. So, nevertheless, I've got Joanne said hi, Mr. Inky Fingers. <laughs> I call her JoJo. Um, and Krista, Todd, love your shirt. Big time muscle car lover. He has two Bettys. Look at all these people. Do you know what? I think they all came for you, Absolutely. not me. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact you were making my card. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of number twos here. I'm seeing a lot of number twos. A few number ones, but... Guys, there's a lot of you guys here. Wow. Todd, nice to meet you. If I missed your comment, I'm so sorry. But so I brought out the oranges because, and I should, I'll put it on the group. You lost that picture. I did. <gasps> Todd got locked out of his iPhone and he lost had to everything. reset it and he didn't have a backup and it's a company phone. And yeah, anyway, um, so he lost all his pictures. I was going to say, I was going to put a picture of his, which one is Sally? The 66? 66, yeah. It's a 66 orange Mustang, but it's orange like the, what's that car from the Dukes of Hazard? Yeah, the, uh, the General, General Lee. Lee. So it's got the white stripes. Okay, how's the sound too? I wanted to ask you guys, because I, I had to turn my sound, the main volume down a bit because I've got the window open and a fan. So if the sound is too low, please type too low, too low, too low. We'll turn it up. So anyway, I put out the oranges because that's Todd's favorite color. And if he had his way, it would have been an orange rose. But you don't get your way. It would be one. No. And I think... There was... I think this was all twos. It was... Sound is great. Thank you, Tammy. Um, twos was, you know what? These guys know me. Okay. They know that this is like this. Uh, I'm their this girl. They're okay. they're my people. My 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 inky. You guys remember my studio tour when he walked in with the camera, and he walks in on me. Do you know how many times he came around that corner and he's like, babe. Your stinky friends are here. And I had to, and I was laughing. And I'm like, will you be serious? But he's such a joker. So my inky friends, they know me. They know my color palette, okay? So you're going to open the middle drawer over there. He's pulled out the orange. And you're going to grab uh, that container right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. I should have made him watch a blending video and let him go for it by himself, but nevertheless. So I just watched Laura Basson um, having her kids all do stenciling and then they put some cards together and I'm so much like Laura and, and I'll link the video afterward for people that are watching back. I'll link it down below, but she's like, G -g hurry up and just g glue it. Do so I'm going to try really hard to... Mm. Stay calm. Good luck. And be patient good with luck you. With that. And yeah, you know, I'm a good teacher. Come on. I'm a good teacher. So these these are blocks. Okay. So I'll give you a couple options because you're gonna wanna stick the flowers and the leaves on these. I'll put these to the side. We will make sure Cindy Lynn makes you an orange birthday. I made him an orange Mustang birthday card. So 
I'll help you put these on because I haven't washed them in a while. Okay, you only need these two. Oh, look at him go. He's getting his leaves out. Okay, the only problem here is you need an outline for the leaf. So this one wouldn't really match. That one will go with that one. Yeah, there you go. I gotta make sure you're not in the oh. you're not in the frame. There I'm you go. Pushing me over. I'm push. I'm so pushy. Okay, so sorry about that. There was. I'm reading comments. Sorry. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is I'll put these from lightest to darkest. Okay. Now, what I teach people in my videos is how to blend on your stamps to make them just a little bit more like, you know, oh, taking them to the next level. So, um. I need the other one of these. <laughs> you aren't you loving the case I got for those? So cool. Anyway, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the Rococo Rose right there. Okay. All right. Oh, and I gotta show you guys what I got for my birthday. And I'm gonna show you guys a whole bunch of cards. I got all these cards back here and I'm gonna go through them after and show you guys who they're from. So what we do when we're blending on stamps, make sure you're in view, okay. you are. So what we do is we take our solid color and we ink it up. And just a tip, it's better to leave the this thing on the table and flip this over and ink it. Okay. So you'll want to ink all of that up only with the light pink. So we go lightest to darkest? You Yeah, you could go lightest to darkest if you'd like to do it that way. I go darkest to lightest in all my videos, but... You do you. We're not here to judge. <laughs> enough. It's probably enough. Now you're going to put that on the end of your finger and you're going to dab it in here. And you're going to pick this up. And what you're going to do is just kind of put ink around the outside so that it kind of creates like a two-tone effect. And you, you can go faster if you'd like to. <laughs> Maybe I'll go slow? <laughs> no. Zan and I are almost birthday buddies. I can't believe how many of you guys are Sagittarians. Like, yeah, Sagittarian for the win. So awesome. Is that enough? It's totally up to you. And before you ink it on the paper, you're going to want to bring it up to your mouth and go ah, to reactivate all the ink because it's probably dry because it's been three hours since you inked it the first time. <laughs> and then just ink it somewhere over in the corner, but don't go off the page. I think we'll be fussy cutting today too. Oh, should he fussy cut or die cut? You guys tell me in the comments. Fussy cut or die cut? Okay, and then you lift it up. And actually, bring it up to the camera a little bit. Like just, there you go. Right there. Look at you guys. Oh, wait, gotta hit the light. There you go. You did a really good job. All right, now this, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna ink this up directly or that way with that color, but. If you look at it, you have to first figure out which way it goes. Insert Jeopardy music here. <laughs> well, what I like to do is I like to find a peak that's different than all the other peaks. So like that peak or that peak. And then I try to find where it's going to match. Probably like that. Okay, if that's what you think it is, then absolutely. Okay, then you go to town. Lisa wants you to did cut. I was typing something on my blog. What card did I just make and put on my blog? And I said something dies because everything's dies, but the words before it sounded so bad. It was like it was terrible. <laughs> I was like everything always dies when I make cards, babe. You have to be very careful not to contaminate the ink pads. But I'll get a baby wipe and fix that for you. All right. Oh! <gasps> Close. Okay, you gotta lift it up and show everybody like you did the other one. Look at that, you guys. Come on. That's like really good. I'm just gonna wipe these with baby wipes. I usually don't, but that's okay. Oh, look, I just did what you did. Okay, so now. What, now. what we're going to do is you're going to open that top drawer right there and on the cabinet behind you. 
that top drawer and grab paper from the very far end. You can grab the one underneath that's already folded because we're going to do second generation stamping. I'm going to teach you a technique, okay? So we'll put these to the side and there's your green. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to ink up the leaf, right? Because we're, let's say you only have one shade of green, right? And you want this to be green, but you want this to show up. If you just ink that and then ink this and stamp them together, it's gonna blend. They're, they're not gonna see the difference. It's gonna be the same color. So you're gonna take that, you're gonna stamp it here once and then stamp it on your main piece of cardstock once. Just go right in. Anywhere? In, well, not near the flower, away from the flower. Yeah. There you go. Yay! You're just like me, guys. He's just like me, at the, how the ink gets around the edge of the actual stamp, and he pressed so hard that it showed up. I do that all the time. You do it all the time, you do it all the time too? <laughs> like, all the time? Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is stamp that one, but you're going to want to put it on this and not stamp off over here. Karen says, wow, way to go, Todd. I got to come in here, though, because you're Talented. not. i got to just stand over here and let you be the star of the show. Because it's your show for my birthday card. And I gotta take a quick, as soon as you stamp that, I gotta show them what card you did get me for my birthday. I gotta let you show them though. But watch over there when you show them so you can, there you go. Good job. So for my birthday. I made it too. <laughs> what I find, and my aunt, God bless her, I've gotta love her, she does the same thing. But those that don't make cards know I make cards. So when they buy me cards, they try to buy me cards that look like, they were homemade cards, but they're not homemade. You know what I yeah. mean. Do you guys have friends like that? So this was the card. This was the card woo, that Todd got me for my birthday. Um, have you ever seen me wear a dress like ever, ever, ever? No. I don't think I, I've no. ever worn a dress since I've known you. But it's got a bow. It's got some flowers. It's got some it's bedazzled. bling. It's, you know, it's, a... it's bedazzled. I mean, yeah, you gotta have you gotta yeah, you have go. a bedazzled card. So, and then can I show them what you got me for my birthday? You can do that after. Why? I gotta give you the card first. Well, you gave me my card, oh, okay. but not my homemade card. Okay, I'll show them after then. That's because that's what you want. That's fine. Okay, so they said you have to die cut these, but I'm gonna make it super easy on you because, oh, you guys. I'm going to give this away. They haven't seen this yet because well, the video doesn't them. go up till the morning. You have to show them. Okay. Well, you guys get special treatment because you were here. So, baby boss. He's so cute. <laughs> I just love him. Okay. So, we're going to use the baby boss. And we're going to use the one that plate. I guess that's the... Because this doesn't really have like a big plate that would go through it. Oh, and I said, you know what I said in my video? You got to come over here, babe. You're not okay. on the screen. I said that I would tell everybody I would link um, the sandwich combinations because they're on my blog. And they're going to be different because this is a number one and it's huge. And I don't have that one. Oh, there it is. Number one. Okay, so they're going to be the same. See, just calm down. It'll be fine. So then do we use... Um, okay. Nope. I think we're just going to use these two. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh my gosh, I sure... You know what's really interesting? What's that? They have instructions on here. Oh, you got to read those. Do I ever read instructions? Never. Okay, so one, two, and two. Okay, so... Duh. Look at you go! Okay. You already, already pulled them out? Okay, okay. here's the problem though. That paper is too wide. So, you're going to use these scissors... And you're gonna trim the paper, or should I make them use a? Should we hold on? No, 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 no. Here, come over here. You can't leave. I'll let you borrow this one. Here you go. Just there's no guard, so don't like cut your fingers off. Ooh, look at that. Tammy's husband does the same thing that you do when he buys her cards. He's a smart man. Okay, so there you go. Now, would you like some purple tape to hold your dyes in place? No, I want blue tape. We don't have blue tape well, in this then, establishment. Then no. <laughs> I could have tried to find orange. 
Where's my coffee? Can you pass me my coffee? Please and thank you. I was going to have a cocktail and I poured a rye um, rum from Cuba and a ginger ale, diet ginger ale, and I just work. wasn't feeling it. You only need one piece of tape. Oh, it's not sticking. Well, I put it more into the image. There you go. And you can do the leaf at the exact same exact time. Exact same time? Exact same time. Ooh. Absolutely. I thought this would be hard for him layering, but dang, that's better than my own stamping. <laughs> that's what Krista said. <laughs> Get the man some washi for those dyes, Samantha. And then what? They always move on me, though. Okay. Um, now, what you're going to do... Okay, hold on. I took your plates away. <laughs> one sec. Okay, so one number three goes on the bottom. So you pull this whole thing out right here. Okay. Put that on there. And then this number two goes on the top of all that. And then kind of like, you know, Put there you go. Put it all together nicely. And then if you turn it, I don't know, which way do you want to crank it? Probably this way. There you go. And then you just See, turn that. Moved. Oh my gosh, See what he left it. Touch it. You're good. He did have a cocktail. You got to come over here a little bit, babe. Where is your cocktail? Do you want it? Should I give you a it's refill? Over, it's over there. I got it. Oh, it's right there. We're, we don't drink a lot. It's really funny because we have like, Todd has, how many bottles of scotch do you have? Like 15, 20. <laughs> I'd say more like 30, but anyway. And then, I mean, we must have 50 to 75 bottles of liquor. And I'm like, people are going to think we're alcoholics. And then people are like, no, if you were alcoholics, there wouldn't be any liquor in the house. So we have tons of liquor, but we just, we don't drink a lot. All right. So I'll take those for you. Now, you know what's, you know what's, Okay, what, what? so. No, but I knit. <laughs> the, the mat. Emboss or not emboss? I know what they're going to say. Emboss. I know what the answer is going to be. Emboss or not emboss? I know exactly what the answer is going to be because they know me. I'm just grabbing something, you guys. I'm not, I'm not far. I'm not far at all. Okay. I gotta get some options. Emboss or not emboss? Okay. So you did a really good job on those. It's crooked. What's crooked? The flower. Oh, you know what though? It's better than fussy cutting because right. fussy cutting means that I would have given you a pair of scissors and they really like you because fussy cutting means you cut all the way around it leaving an even amount of white space. And they and they said you could die cut. There you go. That that means they Good like thing. you. So everybody says emboss. I knew that. You know why? Why? Because I always emboss my background. So I'm gonna let them decide which one of these embossing folders you come into. I'll stand over here. That we're going. Am I even in the thing? No. Hold on. So we've got woodland. We've got subtle. And tasteful textile. <laughs> they can't see it on camera. No, no, I mean when you open it like this, they can't see the texture of that. No I don't think so anyway. Well, no, they can't bit. make it out. But but that was, you know what, E for effort. Them. That was really cute, babe. That was really cute. So we're just going to wait because one of these is my favorite. And most people know which one my favorite that one, is. Tasteful. Do you watch my videos? No, I don't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Which is okay. I think it would be kind of weird if you did. Like if I went down to the office and you were so like take, sitting I'll there watching these away my YouTube I know what you videos. Want. Ooh, embossed too. Oh, oh, oh. So we got I one. I Carol loves the te the tasteful textile, which that is definitely my second favorite. And subtle is my favorite, and we're already getting subtle, subtle. Oh, and then we've got Wicked Creation said let Todd pick, but the whole thing, you know what? Okay, this whole video was about you guys oh. telling him how to make the card. 
I'll let him pick the sentiment, okay? And I'll give him the binder and I'll leave the room and he can pick the sentiment, okay? So anyway, we've got subtle, mostly for subtle. Okay. So look at that. How did you know to put it in that way? Well, I didn't. Oh, can I have the other one? No. Okay. Thank you. I'll bring the machine to you, your highness. What are we going to have to just pound it? Yeah, we're going to pound it. I'll give you a hammer. Okay. Um, you know what? We'll do it right here. Grab that glass mat right there beside the thing. Because you, you, you're you going to make my paper be crinkled. There you go. So stick it right on there. There. And now when you put this here. So you put that in there. And then this one on top. And try not to shake it so much because you'll shake the whole video. <laughs> I have to, that's why I die cut over there so I don't blur which shake everybody in my videos. And then I'll take this mat away because it's really shiny for the video. So thank you. All right, so I'm even gonna go, I'm gonna make you use a tape runner too. So, and maybe some dimensionals. Okay, now, I think you need a sentiment. And I think we should make him emboss a sentiment with Versamark, right? Should we do an emboss sentiment or just a, a plain and easy sentiment because I'm thinking white embossing on black no or, this goes to the side not or true. we can go black ink on on I'm having a mental block why can't I get blushing bride in my head tonight I so black ink on blushing bride <laughs> or white embossing powder on black so black and white or pink and white or pink and black, black and pink or black and white <laughs> sentiment. See, I'm looking at that card right over there. See the white embossing? Mm -hmm. Go grab it. Which one? The one right there with the butterflies. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I did this card so long ago, but I love it. I cased, um, uh, Martin. The come over, the British, uh, the British guy. Yes. Yeah, Martin. He's so cool. Anyway, mm -mm -mm, plain and easy embossed. If it doesn't upset Todd, I think it should be embossed. <laughs> I think it should be embossed. Quite frankly, so it's my birthday. So I mean, I'll let you pick the sentiments. But what you're gonna do is in the very first category here is sentiments. So you're just gonna look through these. And you're looking for something long and skinny, not like me. So no short and fat ones. Okay. So they can't resemble me. They have to resemble long and skinny, okay? Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Look at that. So that one is Itty Bitty Greetings. Okay. So in that cabinet, everything is alphabetical starting on the second shelf down because the first shelf is all dies. Now there's different itty bitties, so you have to make sure you got itty bitty greetings. Well, no, it's not alphabetical order though. It is in alphabetical it order. It is. Okay. And then if you look at the back of the case. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And I'll get your cards. Well, there's back. two happy birthdays though. Which one? Which one? Darker one, one or this one? Whichever one your one heart two. desires. What? One or two. One's happy day. Oh, happy birthday then. Happy birthday it is. Okay. So we'll do it long wise, okay? But you need to put that on a block. And then this, I have to tell everybody all the time, this used to have powder in it, but I took the powder out. <coughs> Careful. <laughs> and I put embossing powder in it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to turn that upside down and you're going to want to pounce it up and down in the top corner of that. 
because that de-staticifies our paper. That's a word I made up. De-staticify. It's a made-up word. It's a made-up word. Got to make sure, like, you see it. Oh, I might have it on close. There you go. Okay. So this is sticky ink. Okay. okay, so what's going to happen is when you ink that up. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple things. I'm trying to get that feather. I'm going to tell you a couple things. First thing, if you push this really hard, like we did with the leaf, you're going to get the outside of this, which yeah. is going to make your job harder. Okay. And then when you stamp it, it's going to look like a watermark. You're not going to see anything except like wet letters. Oh, okay. Okay. So stamp it? Yep. <laughs> I got to read comments. <laughs> Kimberly said you get a gold star for this. Her husband would be like, forget it. No, it didn't work. Samantha out says, I taught my again. mom a few weeks ago how to heat and boss, and she loved it. That is so cool. I'm just going to scroll back a bit. Okay, and then what? Hit and you then what you're going to do? Whoopsie. Oh, oh no. What did I do? Oh. Okay, I'll have to get that back. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on. We pick this up and we I put it two. over top of there. Oh, yes. Okay, and then we put the powder. I don't know where what had just happened to my video. Oh, there it is. Ah! What happened to my video? There it is. Okay. There we go. All right. And I always store that upside down when I'm not using it. You know why? Why? Because Stampin' Up! ink pads, if you check this, see how when they close, they go, the ink is like the pad is upside down? Okay. Because that means that all the ink sits on the top oh. of the pad. So this, I store it upside down so the ink always sits on gotcha. the top of the pad. Yeah. I like okay. the second one. Okay, so if you kind of flip it upside down over here and tap on the back of it, it'll get rid of all the little white hitchhikers. That sounded really mean, white hitchhikers. <laughs> but you don't want to do it too much because you don't want all the ones that are supposed to be there to disappear. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll put the white embossing powder away, and now we're going to use the heat gun. Okay. So if you were to, like, yeah, look at that. Because <laughs> I was playing with it once. Oh, you know what he did, you guys? I have to tell you. He's such a little trickster. You, what? I want them to see your face when I tell them this. He's such a trickster. He does these little things like we were cleaning out a drawer and it was empty, so he put Gizmo in the drawer and closed it, thought no, it was it, funny. It was Bella. No, that was Gizmo in the drawer. Oh, okay. Yeah, or he'll take empty boxes and flip them upside down and put the dogs under them and make them run around downstairs on the hardwood floor. They look floor. like R2-D2. He, he thinks they look like R2-D2, laundry baskets, whatever. So one day, he turned um, this on and he was going to like blow dry the dog just for fun. And I was like, whoa! <laughs> and I showed him. I'm like, when I turn it on, I'm like, put your hand there. He didn't know. Nobody was hurt. Do not try this no at home, children. Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. But this here, you yeah. want it to get hot. You see him like <laughs> that heat gun. So you don't want to point it at the microphone. So you want to point it over there, and you want to turn it all the way up. Oh, it's all the way up. Okay. But yeah, that's what he did. But keep it away from the microphone. He's purposely pointing at the microphone. So you'll pick up your paper and you'll hold this end over here and you'll do the front and the back, the front and the back until it's all melted and smooth and then it'll dry. You could do a little bit more time on either side though. There you go. And you don't have to worry so much about the top one, but I think you're good. If you do it too much, it'll burn. There you go. Okay. So now, I'm not going to tell you how to do this, but this here, like this card, hold on before you do anything. We're going to do this sentiment like this, except those words will be at this end, but it's going to be the length of the card. Okay, so you decide. I'll put this card here so you can kind of look at it and see if you can do that. Your, 
<laughs> that is so funny. Somebody said she's not telling her Hubble that one because he'd do the same, the upside down boxes, but she meant to put hubby, but she typed Hubble. <laughs> That is too funny. I am not even going to pretend to say your name. Um, ma, ma, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Joanne says, oh. Look at that. Yeah, but it should be closer to, that's too, it should be skinnier. No. Like me, it should be skinnier. Joanne said that she thinks you've secretly been watching my videos. Bring this been. over here so they can see. Oh, it's going to be crooked now. Ruined it. Oh, I love your grammar. You're totally just like me. I'm, I feel you. I, I get you. I'm, I'm there. I'm vibing with you. I got it. And Taco Tay said, oof. <laughs> yeah, don't cut your fingers, but... And I haven't seen Miss um, June talking. I ha she probably has been. She's probably been like blowing you kisses. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. <laughs> I think it's adorable. There used to be a plastic thing on there, like my big guillotine trimmer, but I hated it. And Cheryl Lee like totally took it off one day. I was like, how did you do that? There you go. Yay. Insert clapping, crowd clapping here. <laughs> Okay. All right. So on. that's okay. You can trim it afterward. So I'm going to let you put some dimensionals on the flowers and the leaves. And then I'm going to let you decide how you want to arrange it on your card. So these are dimensionals. There's little ones and there's bigger ones. And this is a pick. So just, uh, do you want me to show you how you can, okay, never mind. <laughs> And I always go crazy with my dimensionals. Like on that, I would probably use at least like five or seven. Five? Or seven. Or yeah, probably about five. Somewhere around there is probably what I would use. Something like that. And I need you guys to tell me too, on the in the center of the rose, what we're doing for our glitz. So, um... I have every color of stickles in the world, and we have the uh, Wink of Stella. Um, I mean, ugh, there's everything. We could, oh, and you know what else? You gotta go in the middle. There. And then there's the um, center stamp right here. So, could do that with like some glue and embossing, or you know what? We could do heat and stick with the foiling. <gasps> Ooh. It's brand new. They don't even know I have it yet. It's well, in my unboxing to tomorrow. You can't show them. Well, I don't even know how to use it. I have to Google it. Because <laughs> I don't know. It's heat and stick powder. I wonder if it works the same as embossing powder. Maybe. I have to Google it. I haven't even, like, I don't even know yet. And you know what's really funny? There was, like, something under this sticker before it was put on here. Wink Stella. Samantha says Wink Stella. Carol says diamond. Yeah, diamonds. Babe, diamonds. diamonds? Yeah, more diamonds. We'll put diamonds I like the way Carol thinks. But I'd like to do this heat and stick powder with the gold foiling. With the sure. with the flaking. But I'm not sure. I'm sure it works like it's gotta be it's gotta be um Versamark and then this and then you melt it and then right you use the foiling. But I don't, I don't want to keep know. them here all night if that's not how to do it. I no. still have to look up how to use, how do you it. use it. I don't know. I haven't, like, I don't know. But, like, I could give you the glue I use. But then you got to wait for it to get tacky and all that. But you could, oh, but you've already done that, so you can't stamp it now. Um, I'm going to try to take it off, too. Okay, what's going on? Wow, I feel like I'm cheating using my Cricut Maker. <gasps> oh, I have a Cricut as well. <laughs> I don't make cards with it, but yeah. Um, turn it over. Oh, yeah, okay. I think they're talking to you about the things popping off. Oh. And then... Um, and then what? Pink stickles. I want you to arrange them. Okay, you can't put that on yet, though. 
because you got to put this sentiment on first. So you're kind of going a little bit fast, but that's okay because you can put this here and pretend and then this one, you haven't taken the things off yet. So you can kind of arrange them and figure out where you want them to go, like where you want your flower and your leaf to go, where you want your sentiment to go. You want it to go like that? There you go. Okay, so then flip your flower over. Yes, and I have done that too. And you can do, um, Marie Ange, you can do that with the um, gold foiling, the sheets too, totally works, it's awesome. So then put your, put your leaf in. And then, where's that scratch paper? Here it is. I need another coffee. See, it is done with Versamark. Apply the power to and heat emboss. That's what I thought it would be. See? I didn't know I that. Just, I thought it would be. I was pretty sure. And these little, these little guys, see this little container right here? Yeah. Right? That's for these guys. So when you take them off, you can just put them right in there. Because this studio, you guys, is the cleanest room in the house. Oh, that's not true. It's Everything not true. upstairs is clean now because we got another um, robot vacuum. <laughs> so the carpets are clean up here. How's I'm that? just waiting for... You put it where you want. Okay. I'm just waiting for them to come out with a robot that flies around the house and dusts. Me too. I know. And then... I want for Mother's Day the the robot that goes on the hardwoods and mops them. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. the last time the floors were mopped was when family stayed over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> okay. So that looks awesome. Now I'm going to give you this and this and this. And you're going to like this thing. When you push it down and you go like that, tape comes out. Okay. It's like so you're going to put. It's like what? Liquid paper. Liquid paper. Okay. Liquid paper. That was so easy going from the back side of it. Thanks again. I don't get it. What happened there? I don't know. But you just helped with something. <laughs> I know, right, Betty? The gold leafing is so awesome. I love it too. Now you got a little bit of extra glue there, so I'm gonna give you a glue, uh, a t tape runner glue adhesive remover. So if you run that over where you got that extra glue, you gotta. I gotta put this garbage can here so you stop moving there. Move over, move over, this way, this way, towards me. There you go. So don't walk into the garbage can. <laughs> he keeps going that way. So I put the garbage can there so he can't do it anymore. Now, I think what we'll do is I'll go easy on you and I'll let you use the Wink Estella. So <clears throat> I'm gonna let you squish this out and <clears throat> excuse me, put some on that leaf so you see what it is. Excuse me, excuse me. See what it is? No. Do you see it coming no sparkle. out? Sparkle. Yeah. So they want you to use Winkostella on the flower. Now, normally I do the center and you do whatever you like with the Winkostella. <laughs> it's getting the plastic off the cutter. Oh, someone told me you how to get the plastic off. Yeah, I didn't know either. And Cheryl Lee came over and she's like, I'll take care of that. And it was gone. And I was like, I think I love you. It was awesome. Do you want Wink Estella anywhere else? Nope. Okay. So now you'll want to take a pair of scissors and trim off your sentiment strip. And then I'm going to get you some embellishments. Now, I could, I don't know, I'll let you pick from, and you're welcome to look around at, like, cards to get inspiration on how one. to do your um, sentiments. He'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. I tell you guys, oh, I just got to wait till I know he's in the bathroom. <laughs> he's like a little kid. Like, when he's got to go, that's it. He's like, beelines. And he runs, like, on his tippy toes, and he's just, like, beeline, and he's gone. He's like, be right back. 
Like, you can't even get through one video. But that's okay. All right. We got to love them, right? I mean, come on. He's making my birthday card. So I don't want to overwhelm him. So actually, these have got to go in the retired drawer. Because I think I'm done making Christmas cards. Seriously, I got other stuff planned for you guys. So I'll pull out those and these ones. And I'll let him kind of... The plastic holds the paper in place. Yes, Joanne, you are a bazillion percent right. But when you do what he was doing, like, uh, and this is me, I'm telling you, this is me. I got a piece like this and I just need like, you know, a 16th off of it. And with that plastic thing there, I can't do it. So I can eyeball this right here and I can see, okay, that looks about right. And then bam, right? Bam. I mean, yeah. Are y'all done? Did you get the dogs out and yes. like get all the house, everything squared away? Okay, good. All right. So you're welcome <laughs> to look at like cards with embellishments if you like. Okay. Mm. Okay. Y'all. Yeah. So you're welcome to look at those. Okay, there's one there. Okay, and here's the pick. And just a tip, all right, when you go to get an embellishment off, because these are all, um, you got to be on this side of the garbage can, they're all self-adhesive. So what I like to do is I like to bend my acetate a little bit and put the pick in. So I figure that's a good color combo, but... In case you want to get wild and crazy on In a Saturday night, that's like everything I have. So, Just orange. you want orange? No. Actually, you know what? The orange would actually probably be pretty on there. It's not really orange, orange, it's copper. Those are yellow. Copper. But you can look through them if you ones. like. And... <gasps> oh, oh no, did oh. the laptop die? Oh. oh, the surface. Did it die? It died. No, it's still here. There we go. It just hasn't been used. Seems to be pretty even 50-50 split. People that want it and people that take the guard off. Yeah, it's personal preference. You know me. I don't judge. I don't judge. And if you guys tune in one day and, like, you know, my fingers are gone, you'll be like, girl, I told you. <laughs> Leave that guard on. Because I have, I have got my nails a couple times. But my nails are almost gone. Salons are all done. So I decided I was doing it myself. And, yeah, I'm not... Not doing a great job. Practice, you know? Practice. practice they don't practice, look so practice. good as when Lisa does them. But anyway. Put it anywhere? Put them wherever you want, mm. my love. Wherever you would like. I'm going to clean up your happy birthday stamp on this side of you. While you do that. Is that enough to put some more? Whatever you feel. Yeah, like, whenever you more. feel like it's sufficient. This is like you. I can't tell you. And I would do the same with my, well, no, because if I was doing a class and my students were here, they'd be told they're only allowed to have three embellishments or whatever it is, and they would take them and... Okay, that one's going right there. Okay. And well, they would just put them on, it's not, so... It's not sticking. What's not sticking? Because you got your finger all on it. Okay, so what you want to do... Okay, hold on. I lost it. Dear. Oh, well. There's more. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Hey, where'd those go? I just lost a whole pack of them. Oh. Where Harder than it looks. Go? <laughs> the whole pack just fell on the floor and I can't find it. Oh, my God. I can't I even know. get up. I don't know where. I don't even know what pack it was. And they just fell on the floor. These ones don't stick. They what do they stick. No, they don't. See, look. Babe, they do. Look at. Okay. See, you got to put the sticky side down, okay? Well, that's what I did. So, here. Let me get it on the pick for you. There. See? Did you Well, you're you're not getting the sticky. Okay, save those cuz I'll fix okay, those later. Those. Okay. I'm do these ones. Here, I'll get like... you one. <laughs> I'll get you one. Okay, you got to get the glue up oh. with it. Okay? So there. You're leaving the glue on oh. the on the on the acetate. I see. Okay, now you gotta push it down because it's like you got a blob under there. All right. Would you like any more of these? No. Pink off. They're difficult. <laughs> They're difficult. They must be female. <laughs> That's a guarantee.
Mm. <laughs> so there's different sizes of those too. Like there's big and little. I should have made him uh. splatter. I should have made him do a splatter. Oh well. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's so you're happy with that? Not really. Why? What don't you like? I take the stuff off over and over. You just get new ones and put them on. That's better. There we go. Okay, that's the, that's how you okay. like it. All right. Okay. So, those go in here. <laughs> I gotta see what people are saying. Yeah, Francie is with me. Her nails would get trimmed. Her fingers would get trimmed too. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to put this on the back of this. And you don't have to go crazy, okay? Okay. Just, oh wait, let me make sure they're trimmed properly. Oh yeah, this is trimmed properly because this is your card front. So this... Once you like put your adhesive on it, I like to put mine to the side because then I can see three sides. Okay. Like, I can see a long side and two short sides. And what I do is I try to line it up so I have the same amount of white all the way around. So that's just what I do. That's just what you do. I know, Carol. I should have made them splatter. Well, it's still time. I should have. No, you can't splatter now. Why? Because the flower and everything is on there. Well, it would be a splattered flower. No, you can't. That's just not, you can't do that. You have to splatter at a certain point. Not before and not after. Oh. After It's at a certain point. Like, you can't splatter before you emboss. No. Have you guys done that? Have you tried to splatter after you've embossed and then your whole embossing folder is full of splatter? Okay. If you okay. have splattered and you want to emboss, put a dryer sheet or a um, piece of wax paper or one of the thin, thin pieces of this plastic stuff from these thingies, you know, this plastic, put that there. Something to protect your embossing folder. Okay, so it's time for you to do the sentiment. So I'm going to let you pick the sentiment all on your lonesome, all by yourself. And basically, the book is full of stamps, okay? So just because it says flowers doesn't mean there's not a sentiment in there. So these are usually like skinny front sentiments for like the fronts of cards. So if you like kind of... Just read them and flip through. You can kind of find Take something that you like. Happy birthday. Mm. Oh, my God, babe. It's original. No, Marie Ange is like Todd can splatter when he makes your Christmas card. Oh. Insert jingle bell music there here. That's like, yeah. I didn't even think of that. You know what? I should have made you do a video with me making our Christmas cards. I will tell That's you silly. guys, he is such a trooper because um, dad's cards. Um, oh. So I haven't seen my dad in over, I don't know, it's been so long since since before I posted on Facebook to you guys. Um, the facility was on the news. I didn't tell you guys all of this, but the facility was on the news. There was 24 cases of COVID. They had an outbreak. Two residents died. 17 staff members. It's been awful. Nobody can go and see my dad. So it's just been, it stinks. It really stinks. So his Christmas cards for the, um, these ones up here, Todd mm. helped me put them all in envelopes and we didn't lick. We put stickers on them all and I did the little insert so that people could give them to someone else or keep them for themselves. Okay. I'm going to tell you what. You are going to finish looking there while I show them what I got for my birthday. Okay. Do you have to go somewhere again? No, I'm going. Oh, you're getting... Okay. He's getting a stamp set. Oh, hold so, go. That? for my birthday, I got... What is... Oh, I thought there was a big hair on there. What and you know what's so funny? Hair? It's there. It's Walking. it's under Walking. kits. So, it's right here because it's, oh. it's under kits. It's not oh, under it's not regular stamping. So... At Shoppers Drug Mart, which is kind of like CVS, I don't know. I mean, 
Rexall. Like it's a it's a nice um, drugstore. You know they got all the cool stuff. Anyway, so they have um, like a beauty boutique. And my favorite perfume, La Vie en Belle by Lancome. And this was like on something else. And I said I wanted that when it was gift wrapped. And she actually. So I went with Todd, and I was like. So this is what I did. I told them, I said, if you get this, and this is a fragrance sampler, okay? And the fragrance sampler was only like $90, okay? But it comes with 12 fragrance samples and a coupon for the bottle of perfume of one of these of your choice. But it has to be one of these, right? So... I said, if you take that coupon out when you buy me my birthday gift, if you choose to buy this for me, take the coupon out and the store will allow you to use the coupon as a credit towards the gift set. And the gift set had the larger bottle and it's the Eau de Parfum. I'm not trying to be that girl, but I like the Eau de Parfum. Thanks, babe. Oh, there was something else in here. Yes. I didn't even see that. that There's like, that oh, you guys, it's a little mini baby bottle that can go right up there. Oh, my, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a hook on it and hang it on my Christmas tree. And then it came with. Eau de Parfum, I don't know, cream, and some color that I would never wear. Maybe, maybe Riley will wear that. I'll give yeah, it to maybe. my aunt to give to um, her granddaughter. Anyway, so that's what I got for my birthday. And before you do your thingy, I know he put that in my hair. He always does that. Like when we were doing the stickers for the envelopes for my dad's um, cards for Christmas, he was sticking... The um, stickers that go on the back of the envelope, handmade with love. He was on sticking the them on the dogs. So I want to show them the cards I got. Okay. Okay. So real quick, you guys. I just want to show you a few cards and just do a couple shout outs. This one. That's nice. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. And this, same dear that on Dad's Christmas card. So that was from my sideline, Shirley. And a sideline, you guys, means... That we're both signed up under the same gown, right? So then we've got Always Thinking of You. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I was pretty sure. <laughs> this one was from Betty. And Betty, I know you're here and you sent me a message. I don't know. I don't get what's going on. But apparently her husband picked up the wrong card and sent me the prototype, not the actual card. But I mean, come on, you guys. Look great. at this card. I don't get it. It's a prototype. And she also sent me, I got to show you guys, Scrubby. Apparently, it's the best ink remover. Enjoy for your fingers. Oh, okay. Right? So, yeah. Anyway, super, super cute card. I mean, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is pretty. Okay. Then, I got a card from Miss Carol. And this card, dude, I mean, she had to pay, like, like a ton of shipping for this. Because it is heavy. There are so many layers. Like, look at this card. Look at that card. Look at it all. And then the message there, but that was from Carol. I mean, and this here, this here, I said when I unboxed that paper that it would make awesome Christmas paper and it does. It does. And it's not Christmas paper. And did I make a Christmas card with it this year? No. No. And then I don't remember everything. Oh, that's right. Carrie Ann. I love these. I just did a Christmas card with these right there. This was a hostess set, so totally cute and adorable. I want to know, I think she just used two rectangle dies for that, but super cute card. And I love this one too with the blues. And that silver is so shiny from, Be oh, Betty, maybe that's what she means. I don't know. See, no, this one's the thinking of you. This was my birthday. And that's the Christmas, but apparently this is the prototype, even though she signed no. it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why it's a prototype. I think it's gorgeous. So with that being said, I just wanted to give a little shout out to the cards I picked up in the mailbox the other day. So anyway, I will get this stuff out of the way and let Todd 
Back in. I gotta move the garbage can here. Move over, move over. There you go. Don't be big. My. <sighs> Assault. Okay. Now, your sentiment. Your sentiment goes on the inside of the card. Really? But Holy we have a smoke. we have an insert for the oh. inside. Because in, in, in this household, we don't just stamp on the inside. Okay. And somebody asked me why in a class, and I'm going to tell you guys why. Why? First of all, if you stamp on here and make a mistake, you can't flip it over, right? If you stamp on here and make a mistake, you can flip it over. Number two, even when you get a card, like, from... Not that one. <laughs> I was going to say from the from Hallmark. There's like a paper inside, right? But this, now I am do all my cards on white. I, I don't think I have a card here that's not white. Oh, way up there. <laughs> so normally if you have a colored card base, putting a white in there just kind of, you know, steps it up a little Absolutely. bit, right? So anyways, I'll let you now. Do you have a color preference for the inside? Would you like to use a color from the card or black or use your orange that you snuck out and put over there if you would like? It sits right there. No, I don't think that would be. Oh, what the hell? You can put your ink pad here so everybody can see you open it. It's complicated. So oh, if you see. press down up here on those two. Yeah. Oh, on here? No, inside. Yeah, yeah, press down there. It should pop right up. I don't do it that way. I do it like that. Well, that's what I was doing. But I've seen Connie Stewart. Yeah, see, she does it like this. Okay. Okay, but anyway. And then you have to slide it in so you don't break it when you smash the ink pad into it. Because we all saw how you do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm missing all my comments. Thank you, Carol. I thought it was a beautiful birthday present, too. Can't see them. Put them on the desk. Oh, what was that? My my perfume, or the cards? I'll put all the cards out. Is that what you were talking about? You couldn't see the cards. The blue ones for Christmas. The green is for my birthday. I love them all. I have a hard time opening. Carol has a hard time opening the ink pads too. Oh, yeah. So yeah, don't difficult. worry. Yes, you did a good job though. There you go. And I never did until I took all of the top coat off my nails. And now my nails oh, is disgusting. I don't awful. even want to talk about it. It's totally disgusting. You guys do this side of the garbage can. I so am. you're going to put this on the inside of here in the same fashion that you put the other one on. The cards. Okay. Oh, you want to glue this? He looks at me like like he's a kid looking for like approval or disapproval from their parent or something. You did really good, babe. You did this in an hour. That's like super good. Okay, for the insides of your cards, all you need is a Z. Because... <laughs> Okay, there you go. Fantastic. I'll put this away now. I wonder why it's sticky. I wonder why it's sticking to every inch of you. No wonder. Because I don't think there's any space left on the back without any adhesive on it. You can tell you were in the garage today. Oh, and his generator went on today when I was doing my live... Oh, I put generator on the screen. I didn't know it was a compressor. I'm doing a unboxing, and I heard it in the basement, but I didn't think my camera would pick it up. I mean, I have a Rode mic, but yeah, it did. Would you like to clean that? No. Yes, you would. It's underneath the binder. Here, I'll get out of your way. Clean it on here? Yeah, but bring that over here. There you go. And you just rub it in the middle, and then you take the, the thing off of there, and you place it back in the case. In the appropriate space it's still orange it's not cleaned enough but that's because this is almost dry so use it where it's wet like where it's moist there you go not moist at all you did a great job angela said i know i did you did you did a great job so i'm gonna let you take that card and write in it for me no it's still orange i'll clean it <laughs> i'll clean it but 
I'm going to put these cards on the table really quick because everybody said they couldn't see them. But I need them. a pen. There's a pen in the computer area. No, or there's one like of those fancy schmancy ones. Oh, my fancy schmancy ones. And I even got a brand new fancy schmancy thingy to put all my new fancy schmancy gels in. And the gels match, so you have to pick a gel that matches the card color. So, yeah. And then I'll put my perfume here and my cream. And my <laughs> look at this color, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even stamp with that color. This is totally like, this is brighter than, oh my God, it's magenta madness. That is magenta madness. I don't, I have never even inked this. I've never even inked that color. <laughs> Crazy. Where's that, where's that baby wipe? There it is. Oh my gosh, magenta madness. Okay. You're not even in the thing, but you don't have to write the, anything in it in the thing, babe. And my other little perfume thingy. So, yeah. Here we have it. You don't have to write in it right now. I'm doing it right now. Okay, he wants to do it right now. All right. Okay, well. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at it. You're even going to help me put away my markers. You're so sweet. Okay. I'll get that by you. Oh, that one doesn't have a sprayer. It's just no, like a it's dauber. Like a dauber. You put it on your Oh, hand. well, I'll, I'll wear it, daub it. But then what I'll do... I'll glue it closed like Morgan had to do to her cookie oh, jar. So idea. this girl we watch on a vlog, she put all the Oreo cookies in the big round um, jar. Like, Apparently like, like Kardashians. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Khloe Kardashian. Hello. Anyway, she did that, but she kept eating them. So she had to hot glue gun the top. So I'll just hot glue gun the top of this. And next year... It will be on this tree, okay? I might even, oh, I'll use Magenta Madness in honor of this lipstick and I'll put some um, water in here with Magenta Madness. No, I'll probably do something lighter, pink that'll match that. Anyway, next year you guys will see that. So, yes, anyhow. So there we have it. So thank Isn't you guys pretty? so much for visiting. Yes, absolutely. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful, babe. Ever. Thank you. You're welcome. You're, so, you're such a sweetheart. And you're such a good sport. You really are. So without further ado, I won't keep you guys any longer, but thank you for joining us today. And thank you for all the birthday wishes and everybody telling Todd that I'm not hitting on your man. It's just a great way to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Awesome. Okay, bye. You all right, guys. bye, everybody.